Hey, what's up, Husker Nation? My name is Logan Merrick, and this is Husker Central. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new guy who just shows up a couple of days before a game. Where does he come from? Who is he? That's in this video coming up right now. All right, so if you were like me, you were sitting on Twitter today, and all of a sudden, this guy named Mac Markway all of a sudden says, He's now a Husker, and he's starting practice today. And then Steve Wiltfong uh, puts out a thing about the same thing that he's now playing. And I'm like, wait, what? And this dude is from LSU. And he was previously, I guess, three years ago, committed to Florida. And then he changed, and and um, which seems to kind of be the thing now, uh, decides that he's going to go to to LSU. And he was a freshman last year, and then this year, Right. I mean, he's done with fall camp. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff. I've been just doing some some investigating on what LSU um, radio stations and stuff are saying. LSU writers are saying about him. But I looked at his tape. I'm going to share that with you uh, because it's important that him coming to Nebraska this late in the season, I feel like it says something. And. That's something I will tell you at the end of the video. But before we get into it, I just want to remind you, UTEP, it's game week. We're only four days away. I will be live streaming right here on this channel. Uh, come hang out. I'm going to be uh, talking about the game as it's going on. We're going to have uh, a chat community going on. So it should be a good time. Make sure to uh, get some snacks together, have the game going, but have me on your phone or on a, on a laptop or something because it's going to be a good time. That being said, let's get into Mac Markaway. All right. First and foremost, when you look at his tape, which I'm going to bring it up right here, um, he is definitely a, a blocking tight end. Now, he's a two-way tight end. Hear me. He can, he can go out and catch passes. He definitely can. But all of his highlight tape is him just pancaking guys. Now, this is high school tape. Uh, couldn't find anything from the LSU stuff on, on YouTube. And so I'm going all off of high school tape, but I will say this, uh, the LSU writers, radio personalities, uh, YouTubers, like they all are like stunned by this because, um, they have their number one starting tight end. Who's kind of like a Thomas Fedoni type, uh, just a great all around tight end who's the starter, but they were really excited about Mac, uh, Mac Markaway because he's a great blocker and he can go out for, um, passes now we're gonna watch him right here um he just took on let me let me back this up so you can see um all right so there he is he takes on the blocker or he takes on the the blitzer and then here he is again Boop! just blowing guys up goes out for a pass right here now, as you can see, first and foremost, the dude is just huge. He is a big, big guy. But something else I want you to notice, he's not the most fleet of foot guy, but you don't want to tackle the Mack truck that's coming in. Now, he also played in high school. He played defensive end. Um, but what I think this tells me, because when I watch this guy block, he's mobile. I mean, he is just blowing guys up. It. He goes up for a high points of ball right here. He immediately kind of jumps off the tape for me as a Rob Gronkowski type, a guy who's athletic, not super fast. Uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna blow you away with the speed, but he's gonna take great like just like that. He's gonna get gritty catches for you across the middle, and he's just gonna blow dudes up left and right. It's a great blocker. He's just, but I mean, he just—he's not afraid of of uh, putting his nose in there and just taking on defensive ends and things like that. So it's just a little bit of his tape. Now, a little bit more about him, real quick. He's a former four star. Um, he comes from a big pedigree. His dad played tight end at Iowa, which I thought was pretty interesting. His uncle played tight end at Ohio State, and he has a cousin who is in the is in the NFL um, and also played tight end at South Carolina. And so he comes from a tight end family. He knows how to play the game. 
What does this say about Nebraska taking him on? Now, again, LSU or the L, all of LSU writers are like, where are you going to go play? Everyone's gone through spring and fall camp together. Where are you going to go play immediately? Like here at LSU, you were going to play. You were already playing, and and he, they apparently had really big plans for him um, in that two-way kind of game. Again, blocking and going out because – Apparently, the guy after him aren't great blockers. The other, the 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 other tight ends um, that they also have on on the team, like they're going to have to learn how to block. And as you can see, this dude knows how to block. And so, what does that say to, about Nebraska taking him on? One, if you watched video or tape last year, or watched the games last year, you were quick to go, "Oh, the offensive line was terrible." If you've been on this channel for any point in time, you know that I say the opposite, and I, I I break down some tape on that. There were some really bad, blown tight end blocking um, games last year. I mean, just complete misses. And so, so there's that. I think they feel like they need another tight end that can block. But I also think with Teddy Prohaska going out, I'm really curious if this team feels like, all right, we need to really solidify the offensive line on the ends, and so we're going to need a good blocking tight end. Because here's the thing. Thomas Fedoni is a decent blocker. He's not a great blocker. That's not what he's known for. He's more of a Travis Kelsey type. He goes out. He's, he's kind of a, uh, uh, again, can, can he block? He can. But his his best strength is going out and catching passes. Um. I think Mac Markaway shows me a lot of Rob Gronkowski, like I told you just a few minutes ago. He is nasty at the point of contact from a blocking perspective on the offensive line, but he can also go out and he can catch passes and he can be sneaky athletic, um, but he's not going to blow you away with his speed. I think that for the Huskers, this is saying we need to help solidify the offensive line with blocking because what can you what can you mostly do pretty immediate like I don't think Mac Markaway is going to come in for UTEP but I think you can get him up to speed pretty quickly with Colorado uh, and getting him like hey blocking assignments here's what we're going to do and just kind of have some packages that he's in because it's obvious he knows the game he's played at a high level in the SEC uh, it's not like you're you're a high school freshman uh, or a, a high school new redshirt freshman coming in or something like that. Like this, this kid's played at a high level. So that's what it, I think it says to me is that they're a little bit nervous about, uh, the ends. Now, uh, again, I'm the offensive line did a great job last year. Um, Bryce Benhart is an incredible right tackle. Um, I, I think that there is some nervousness with Turner Corcoran as there should be. Um, and so, but I'm just speculating here. So let me know in the comments what you think this means, or if it's just like, hey, there's a there's a great tight end out there, and they went and got one. That's fine too. Like that that is definitely a thing. But I just wanted to briefly jump on here, get a video up to kind of explain who Mac Markaway is. I'm excited to have him uh, as a Husker. Mac, welcome to the land that is corn, and welcome to Nebraska. Originally from St. Louis, Missouri. It's not like you're unfamiliar with the Midwest, but we're glad to have you here uh, and a part of Husker Nation. That being said, again, don't forget about this Saturday. Come join me here. That game is at 2.30. Pumped, pumped, pumped uh, for UTEP. If you aren't familiar with UTEP or what they have to offer, I have a video that I did last week. I have that right here uh, for you. And so go check that out. It's going to let you know everything you need to know about UTEP as we prep for this game. I also give you what I think uh, my prediction will be for uh, the end, the score at the end of the of the game. So that being said, have a great week. We'll see you back here on Saturday. And oh, by the way, go Big Red! We'll see you later.